Thank you, Clary. Now, you masticate that cake, and don't pay no mind to them old mean kids. I'll, I'll make them sorry to teach me about my mama and that mean old Mr. Wilson. Now, now, honey. Don't pay them kids no mind. He, he just likes my mama because he know I got a rich aunt in Sweden with a diamond mine. And, and I won't have him for Papa Clary. I won't, I won't. Well, I don't expect you can do much about that, honey. Calling me a little boy, making fun of my hair. Well, my aunt could make people pine away and die just by looking at them. And once you teach me how I'm going to try it on that old Mr. Wilson, I'll fix him. Now, listen, honey. I've got a sure way to make him dwindle. Honest? Make him really dwindle? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Maybe it'd be most better if you get something that belongs to him. Belongs to him? Mm-hmm. And, and then you bury it. And you say over it, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Hillbell, Dillard, Gallio, and Barilla. Shadrach, Meshach, unto Abednego, Hilly come, Billy come, Calico, Spirillo. <laughs> That's exactly right. And in three weeks, you'll dwindle away and die. You see. Are you sure? Just as sure as I'm sitting here. All right. Shadak. Mashak. What's your Here we come. Not on our honeymoon, my dear. Uh, Wilma would be far better off at the boarding school. Oh, well, perhaps that would be better. Mr. Wilson. brown sniper ring, and, and I was outside on the drive, and, and, and I peeked through the window, because I heard them swearing at each other, and, and he was locked in the grip of death, and, and he hit him over the head, and Mr. Brown gave out an awful groan, mm. and, and, and I... Who, Willie? Who, who, who hit him? Shh, that mean old Mr. Wilson. Are you telling the truth? Cross my heart, I hope to die. Well, why haven't you told anyone? Nobody asked me, and I was waiting till the right time. Well, now, see here, Mr. Wilson says he was at the recital. Um, he wasn't... He, he couldn't have been. Well, he wasn't there all the time. He couldn't have seen me or he wouldn't have said I was swell. And, and not only that, I can prove he was at Brown's, because he dropped his gloves in the Brown's drive. And, and I found them there last night. And you got those gloves? You bet I've got them. Uncle, get them. No, wait a minute. What were you doing in the Browns Drive? Mm -hmm. Well, I was, I was late to the recital, and, and I was taking a shortcut through, through the, through the backyard. And, and if you don't believe me, you can ask Clarice, cause, cause she was at the recital, and, and I asked her to watch out for him. Who's Clarice? Browns cook. I don't know how much of what you're saying is the truth, Willie, but we're going to find out. Let's get those gloves. Well, come on. The how to be a hypocrite. <laughs> Marilyn, 
Yes? I've got something for you, too. What? That's for telling all those mean lies about Nora. <laughs> oh, Willie. What can we ever do for you? Can can I have anything I want? Anything. Anything? You sure can. Helicum, Billy come. Ah, vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> 